Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Tuesday the 14th of September 2010 with myself John Cavill, the Director of Tennis, Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis over the past week. In this year's US Open, the number two seed Kim Kleisters took her third singles title with an emphatic 6-2, 6-1 win over Russia's Vera Zvonareva. After Sunday's final was delayed to Monday due to rain, the number one seed Rafael Nadal clinched the career Grand Slam by winning the US Open 6-4, 5-7, 6-4, 6-2 against Novak Djokovic. Nadal has now won all four majors and is the first man since Rod Laver in 1969 to win the French, Wimbledon and US titles in the same season. Bob and Mike Bryan have now gone on to win the men's doubles final in a close 7-6, 7-6 encounter against Bopana and Koreshi in two close sets. Vanir King and Yaroslava Shevladova came through a third set tiebreaker after losing the first set to go on to win the women's doubles title. Bob Bryan teamed up with Lisa Huber to defeat Pence Pesky and Koreshi 6-4, 6-4 in the mixed doubles final. Britain's Peter Norfolk lost in a third set battle against the, in the men's wheelchair quad singles final against USA's David Wagner, 6-love, 2-6, 6-3. In the juniors, in the boys final, it was an all-American affair with Jack Sock taking the title after losing the first set to Dennis Kudler, 3-6, 6-2, 6-2. The Russians dominated the girls final with number one seed Darek Garilova beating Yulia Petsnitsova, 6-3, 6-2. Beretta and Kiros teamed up in the boys' doubles final to beat Britain's Oliver Golding and Czech's Yuri Vesely, 6-1, 7-5. And in the girls' doubles final, uh, Babos and Stevens were gifted the title after Mistash and Nirich conceded a walkover. On to more tennis news. And Britain's James Ward defeated Spain's Guillermo Osalaso 7564 in the final of the $15,000 futures event in Spain. Robin Hasse of the Netherlands defeated Ivo Minar of the Czech Republic in the final of the ATP Challengers event in Como, Italy. Elliot Dimmock defeated Julian Cash 6176 in the final of the Aegon Junior International Boys Singles at Holton. Issue 1 of the Tennis Works newsletter is now out with articles from leading contributors from around the world. To get your free copy, please visit www.tennisworks.net to sign up now. On Wednesday the 8th of September, we presented a live webinar called The Five Steps to Becoming a Tennis Player, which was based on the seminar delivered in October 2009 by one of Britain's most successful ten tennis coaches, Alan Jones, and the former world number five, Joe Jury. This educational webinar has had fantastic feedback from our attendees. If you are unable to attend, then all is not lost, as you can sign up now to tennisworks.net for a free period and view the recording, as well as viewing other interesting interviews and articles. Paul Dent, the co-author of the Tennis Coaches Toolkit, has now been confirmed as a guest presenter at the live Tennis Works seminar on the 6th of December. Paul is highly regarded in the tennis world as an educational leader and regularly presents for the International Tennis Federation. He has coached several junior and senior international players and was the former national coach for the LTA. Looking ahead this week. Britain's Liam Brody is seeded number two in the 12th Serbia Junior Open, which is a junior ITF event. The Davis Cup semi-finals are being held with France taking on Argentina and Serbia going up against the Czech Republic. In Umag, Croatia, they are hosting the Stella Maris Cup, which is an under 14 Tennis Europe Grade 2 event. And in Barcelona, at the Club Tennis Torello, there is a 16 and under grade 2 event. 
Let me keep you informed about the forthcoming Tennis Works event. Steve Green, the former physical coach to Tim Henman and Greg Rosetsky, is presenting the next live Tennis Works seminar on Monday the 4th of October. His presentation will be around focused physical training and the specific requirements for the different stages of a player development. This is open to all coaches who can make their way to Milton Keynes UK. So to find out how you can attend, visit tennisworks.net. Thomas Rosicka is presenting a live webinar on Monday the 1st of November at 900 hours GMT time on creating a personal development path. And like I mentioned earlier, Paul Dent is presenting at the live Tennis Works seminar on the 6th of December in Milton Keynes, UK. This presentation will be on excellent mental skills. On to our Tennis Works world where we acknowledge members for their achievements. And well done to Megan Jones who won the under 18 and under 16 junior club closed tournament at Stony Stratford Tennis Club UK. And congratulations to Marcus Basild and Toby Draper who are being presented awards for being T-Factor winners. This is a talent scouting initiative in Milton Keynes run by Tennis NK. Please go to tennisworks.net today and register for your free membership until the 1st of November. On the website, you can also sign up to our free newsletter, which is bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a live seminar on Monday the 4th of October at 8.30 GMT time in Milton Keynes, UK, with guest presenter Steve Green, who will be delivering an on-court session with focused physical training. The seminar is included in all enhanced coaches' memberships anyone wishing to join us on the day, please go to tennisworks.net and book via the website. As well as the on-court presentation, all coaches who attend will receive complimentary refreshments, opportunity to participate in an open forum and networking with other coaches. The coaches will also receive four LTA license points. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care and see you all again soon.